Hi everybody, I'm Steve, it's my boy Beast. It is November, it is Hallmark holiday movie season, and our pitch goes a little something like this. It's a story about a single guy and a beagle who looks something like this and nothing like this, and they go to the dog park, and it's basically cheers because everybody knows his name, and all the dogs play nice with him, and all the kids come up and say hi to him, and all is right with the world. But it turns out that the dog park used to be a horse place where horse people did horse things with horses, and there's this championship horse girl played by either the luscious Lacey Chabert, the brilliant Danica McPatrick, or the kick-ass Katrina Law, who wants to turn the dog park back into a horse place so that her precocious niece because there's no other kind can explore her hoofianity in a safe space because she gets made fun of at school for saying stuff like horses are so pretty so the horse girl's walking around the dog park catching her plan while the dog guy's walking his dog at the dog park the dog gets loose it runs and it jumps up on her and that's how they meet and it's all cute until she starts spouting her pro-horse propaganda and then the guy's like whoa 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 stop the clock that was then this is now get with the times bra and they clash and hijinks ensue but it turns out there's a greedy corporate fat cat because there is no other kind lurking in the shadows waiting for a sunset clause in the lease to the park to expire at midnight on New Year's so that the park will go off for auction and he'll buy it for dirt cheap so that he can pave it into a parking lot for Boogapalooza because nothing says small Townsville, USA any less than something called Boogapalooza. So the dog guy and the horse girl find out about this. They decide to put their differences aside, team up, fall in love, and save the dog park. And a bake sale ensues. But they don't raise enough money to save the park. Oh, no. And it looks like all hope is lost until you find out that the father of the precocious niece, the brother-in-law of the horse girl is Mr. Darcy. Why? Because there's always a Mr. Darcy. And this one is rich, but he lives below his means because he wants his daughter to grow up with humility instead of entitlement. But she's like, Daddy, what's the point of money if you can't use it to save the town? And he's like, well, that's a good point, Sugar Bear. I'll see what I can do. So he becomes the majority shareholder of the corporation that the greedy corporate fat cat works for. And he's like, hey, bro, you work for me now. This dog park stays a dog park. There's a door, Booga loser. And the fat cat's like, oh, no. And he's out of here. So the dog park is safe, and they decide to make it a dog park slash horse place so that dog people and horse people can do dog and horse things together. So fast forward to the following New Year's, the dog guy and the horse girl decide to get married at the dog park slash horse place. And the guy in the middle that does all the talking, he's like, hey, dude, do you take this girl to be your girl? He's like, yeah, brah. And he's like, hey, girl, do you take this dude to be your dude? She's like, yeah, brah. And then he's like, give her the ring, brah. And the guy's like, I don't have the ring. Oh, no. But then the beagle comes running up the aisle wearing a tuxedo, and he's all surprise, shorty. And he's got the ring, and he gives the ring to the guy who gives the ring to the girl, and then they kiss, and then they're married, and then the fireworks go off because it's New Year's, and then the beagle goes, <laughs> and it's Happy Rue Year which is the title of the movie, and unless you have a beagle or watch all the way to the end, you have no idea what that means, and that's why it's brilliant. Oh, P.S., it turns out that our horse girl started off the story all bah humbug about horses and the holidays because she was orphaned as a teenager during a Santa Claus Day Parade carriage mishap, and so the whole story is her rediscovery about her love of horses and the holidays while finding love at the same time. Character development. Yeah, it's a good story. I think it's a good one. I think, I, I, yeah, we would watch this one. Yeah. Beastie approved. You saw it here first, folks.